What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay, your registered nurse here, and we're about to get into my real hair journey. Damn, where do I start? <laughs> All right, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my name's Joe, from New York City, 27. I'm young, and by this title, you know it's real. <laughs> you know it's real. Um, we're not gonna hold back on this channel. Well, God, I'm gonna give you the real. Like I said, I'm gonna give you the real journey. Um, I'm a professional healthcare worker. I'm a registered nurse. So, you know, I have a lot of insight into, you know, the health field in itself. So I'm gonna incorporate a lot of that into, you know, this journey that you guys are gonna be on me with. You guys are gonna be with me while I'm on the journey. We're gonna scratch that, don't worry about it. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, so I want to incorporate a lot of that. Uh, I have a lot of high hopes for this, for this channel. Um, I think, you know, just, you know, with the journey in mind, that's going to be a strong portion, but also uh, health, uh, fitness, um, mental health, wellness. I'm going to be talking about things like nursing, healthcare classes, CPR courses, um, you know, just bettering yourself and furthering yourself in the healthcare professional world if you're interested. Being that I am an African American male nurse, uh, those are <laughs> those are two boundaries I'm already you know um, crossing, in in society's status quo. So I just want to let you guys know on different levels that I'm here for that conversation and I've experienced a lot of what maybe you have come to get some insight on. So a little more about myself. Um, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. Uh, I've done minoxidil, I've done, you know, scalp micropigmentation and that research. And, you know, I've researched FUE, FUT, I've researched um, protein rich plasma with stem cells. I've, I've done a lot of research and this is why I'm here. I'm here to have this journey with you guys. I'm here to go through it again with you guys. I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to be that positive voice. Um, you know, when I was going through it and I was in my low periods, uh, there were, you know, I'd always go on YouTube and try to find someone I could, you know, mesh with on that, on that educational level or someone who's going through it. And it makes you feel good knowing that, okay, maybe I shouldn't do that or just seeing someone go through it and they might not have a positive result, but they have positive words, which then in turn would lead you towards, you know, going down whatever path that may be career, uh, procedure that makes you happy, etc. On this channel, I just really want to focus on chasing your happiness, all right? That's that's the main thing. I know I scrambled a lot. We're going to bring it back in tenfold, and I just want to focus on happiness. Personal happiness is the key. Uh, we go through life, and we live, but are we alive? You know, are we living in the moment? Are we, you know, practicing, you know, carpe diem? Are we practicing, you know... I, excuse me if I'm saying it incorrectly, but tabla rasa, right? Um, we have to seize the moment, seize the day, and, you know, become one with ourselves and find happiness in whatever decisions we make because at the end of the day, you're the only one that wakes up and sees this. Nobody else sees this. So, you know, if you want to do something to better yourself, better your future, better your health, and in turn, better your happiness and your mental health, do it. I do have a procedure coming up. I mean, you guys already know by the title, and I don't want to string this video long too long. Um, it's going to be a, around probably 10 minutes or so, but I want to let you guys know I have a procedure coming up next week. Today is February 7th, 2020, and I have a procedure February 14th, 2020. All right, I got nervous even saying it. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> listen, guys, it's nerve wracking, and... It's nerve wracking on two levels. The first level is it's crazy, right? Like they're gonna be sticking needles all over you, and then they're gonna put it here. And then, I mean, you know, you know. Have you ever tried to explain it to somebody? It's like it's crazy. They'll try to explain it to somebody. They're gonna laugh at you. Matter of fact, don't. Just don't explain it to anyone. Um, but yeah. So I'm nervous for the procedure itself, but the real portion that's nervous, and I'm, you know, just a part of, you know, this conversation is more serious is that, you know, people spend $30,000 on a procedure and get no positive result. 
And that's why sometimes we go on YouTube and we just don't see a lot of, you know, people fulfilling their journey. Maybe they might start it and then they don't see anything by eight months and you just don't know where they are. Um, I do have a very strong sense of stick to and I want to let you guys know that no matter what results I get, I promise I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to post. You guys are going to see my updates. Uh, I'm telling you. Even if I have one hair right here, and that's the only hair that grew, I'm going to oil it, and I'm going to show you guys. If I have two hairs and it's only on my eyebrows, whatever happens, I promise you guys, if you rock with me, you're going to see you're gonna see nothing but positive words. You're going to see nothing but a true experience, a real journey. That's what I promise, okay? And in that journey, we're going to incorporate a lot of things because a lot of it has to do with your health. You have to eat a certain way. You, you know, you, if, you, if you're an active or avid drinker, you have to adjust your lifestyle, smoker, etc. So we're going to get into that. You know, um, I'm going to do a post-procedure and a pre-procedure video just to give you guys the pros and cons and, you know, what you're supposed to do prior to, you know, coming into the surgery to, like, prepare your body and after as well. Um, but just so you guys know, what is FUE? FUE is a follicular unit extraction. They take a surgical tool and they basically take out your units, or your follicles, and they implant them in the front area of your head. And that's all dependent on if you have a lot of donor area or not. Um, yeah. So, and then FUT is follicular unit transplant or, yeah, I believe transplant. And they basically take a strip from the back of your head and implant it, implant those follicles of hair into the front. I've done a little research and I know like you, maybe you've gone and gotten a consult and someone has told you, oh, you don't have enough, etc. So, you know, I've been there too, uh, but I'm going to get it done and you guys are going to see my results. Uh, a little bit about my family history. My dad went bald at 42. Um, you know, he started losing some of this and he was just like, F it. And he just took the whole thing back and... Um, he didn't try any alternative sources. He just took it off. And that was it. Like, he's very, he's that kind of old school guy. Like, that's it. Black and white. My brother had braids until he was about 34, 35. And he was thinning in the top. And he used a little minoxidil. But, you know, um, he just didn't want to use it anymore after a while. And just imagine having braids. And, you know, you want to you wanna try to get your braids going to the back. But right here is thin. Imagine if AI, Allen Iverson, had that. Come on, he'd look crazy. So my brother, you could only imagine what he went through. So he was just done with that. And, um, you know, he just went straight from braids again to that to that bald. Um, so myself, I've had my own journey as well. And we're going to get more into that. I'm sure you can see. This wannabe Tyrese Morris Chester. Yeah, don't let him fake y'all out, all right? All right? He got the five o'clock shadow going. I'm gonna let him tell his story. But matter of fact, let me get off this mic, man. Cause I'm, I, I'll get at him. Let me get out of here, man. You know, uh, a little SMP there. I haven't shaved in about five days. I'm trying to let it grow out for the procedure. But when I shave it down, everything looks good, you know? But um, I'm ready for that next chapter. I'm ready for that next, that next page in the book. Listen, don't be scared. Don't be scared of something you really want to do in life. Why? Because we only get one life. Let that sink in, okay? Live for today. So again, you're here with Joe, and I wanna let you guys know if you have any positive, any negative criticism, please drop it in the comments, hit me with a message, and let me know if there's any additional content that you think, um, you know, while this, you know, transcends new levels and you guys bond and we just have this connection, let me know if there's anything additional we could talk about or that maybe I could mention. Trust me, I've been through a lot. And we're going to talk about beard journeys as well. As long as you're here with me, we're going to rock out. And it's going to be a beautiful journey. And I can't wait to see you guys in the future. Thank you for tuning in. It's Good Life Joe. See you next time.